I'm back guys. I'm gonna make me more consistent on this uh, YouTube game. Uh, I'm gonna focus less on polishing my edits and just uploading because that was my stumbling block and why I stopped uploading. It was the editors were taking me too long um, because I was trying to be fancy with the wording and the music. So I'm gonna, my edits are gonna be a little bit more raw so I can be more consistent with uploading. And today it's not trucks, it's motorbikes. Today, uh, so yesterday I bought an MT-10, Yamaha MT-10 motorbike. Um, and today I'm off to pick up a quick shifter and we're gonna install that today. So um, I'm gonna hop in the van now. And uh, it's not far from me, about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go grab a quick shifter and I'm gonna come back and fit it together. So stay tuned if you wanna see that. I see the bike, cause she's some whip. I did, I did do an upload last night, but it was a TikTok video that I just uploaded on YouTube, so it's the wrong orientation. Just to just to remember how to upload stuff, to be honest. So yeah, let's go fetch this quick shifter and get her banged on. For those uh, that remember and followed on from my old account, so I'm talking about TikTok now, um, I am focusing more on the YouTube, but uh, I'm still gonna upload on TikTok, just gonna put like the bigger videos and the, the more educational videos on YouTube because TikTok can't delete it that way. So my old account got banned and I was doing a charity bike. Now that haven't been forgot about, I've still got the charity bike, got most of the jobs done now, I've just got a noise that I need to fix. And I'm gonna auction that off for charity. 59 numbers, 10 pound a number, so 590 quid for this little pit bike that I've rebuilt the engine on. Chain fell off, yeah, uh, camera chain. So I've redone the engine on it, but it's got a noise that I want to sort before um, I auction off because it needs to be right, doesn't it? So uh, following on from that with a competition with Billy, um, I even forgot about it. I've just been on holiday. I went abroad last week. I've had 12 days off the spanners. I'm back on the trucks tomorrow. Um, and I didn't really want to start delving into um, big jobs. I just wanted a little bit of a break away from the job because it does get like that sometimes, gets a bit much. But for today, quick shifter. Uh, I've got a few little jobs, infill jobs, which are no interest to you guys. But uh, yeah, let's go fetch this quick shifter. I need to get like a proper stand for the uh, van. Let me show you quick. Because in this van, I've got this infotainment thing here and uh, I, I clamp the phone there and yeah, I'm in the part of the shot. I can't put it here because then all you can see is the steering wheel. So I'm having to lay you up there. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty certain, pretty much like Chris, professional struggler, every three minutes you're gonna fall over. Um, and it's less than ideal. So I need to get a, a proper phone mount for the window screen. Uh, but yeah, that's, less, that's, that's enough yapping. Isn't it? Let's go fetch this quick shift and get a bowl enough. The goods. Quick shifter in hand. I'm hoping my linkage fits into the top and bottom of that. I haven't done my research properly, really. Uh, but we'll figure something out. A bit of Freddie Bar, Tig Welder, you know what I mean? We'll figure it out. Uh, lovely fella called Chris, that was. He's uh, he track raced, track, he raced for 16 years um, and he's developed Alzheimer's. So he's, he's just racing CB500s now. Lovely fella. Um, and he also sells race scrubs. So when I track day this bike, I know where to get my scrubs from. Sweet as, so let's get back and see if this actually fits. <laughs> back on, so I'm gonna get the bike out. I'm gonna kick off the uh, comfort crocs and put on the safety crocs. You know what I mean? Safety first and that. Steelies. We're on the paddocks done now. I'm not claiming to know what I'm on about, but I've certainly got a piece missing because that ain't joining them two joints together. So I'm gonna have to get creative here, aren't I? <laughs> I do think there's probably enough meat in that rod to drill it and send a six mil tap into it to fit it. But we're gonna have to get a little bit creative, you know what I mean? But first of all, we're gonna have to measure from the center of that joint to the center of that joint so we know the overall distance because we don't want to change the angle of the selector because it's comfortable where it is. Hmm. Hmm. Look at that. Literally just started spitting. I hate this country. I say that from my chest. <laughs> Train chest. Like not yesterday before, and that hurt a little bit because I've got doms on it. Oh, that hurt. Pop these two boots off, and the center of that heim, the bolt that goes through the heim, to the center of that one is 280 mil. So on that basis, if I make sure the complete linkage when I've built it is 280 mil long, we're well, good. And I'm gonna put the quick shifter at the top edge here. I haven't even looked at a picture, I'll be honest. I know I'm missing some up, but I'm missing it. So what's the point in knowing what I'm missing? I may as well just fix what the problem is. So I'm gonna put the quick shifter in here, <clears throat> just put the um, 
this ham joint into the top of the quick shifter and then cut this rod down. And because my TIG welder's at work, I'm not gonna have to TIG weld it, but I can drill down the center and put a six mil bolt, six mil thread and tighten them together. And then when I go to work, I ride the bike to work one week, one day this week, and I'll just TIG weld round it and fly it off. And then uh, if I don't like the look of it, I can always order the proper bit. But yeah, I need to shorten this rod to make up the distance from the bottom of the quick shifter to this joint. But it's a minor, it's no problem. I'm just gonna whip these two four mil Allen key bolts out now to get this linkage off. And then we'll do some measuring and cutting and bodging. And uh, yeah, we'll be going fast in no time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Come on, Bobby. You need to observe on rods like this. I'm at the dining room table now, she's not in, it's fine. Uh, one's a left hand thread, one's a right hand uh, thread, so that way you can spin this rod and it'll adjust them outwards or inwards at the same time. So I haven't bought this from the back. I haven't observed which end was which. It'd be pretty easy to figure it out. But I, I know this is the left handed thread. And I know the bottom of this quick shifter is a standard thread. So I need to put that heim joint into the top of the quick shifter and make sure I retain the right hand threads for my bodger bodgerunery because uh, yeah, we'll be in a mess if I cut the wrong end because then I'm gonna, I ain't got a left handed tap ever to make, make some it. So I'm gonna whip this heim out here, pop that in here and then figure out how long I need to make this rod to thread into there to make the overall length of 280 mil, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Bear in mind when you watch my videos, I am not a videographer, fair. I'm not a social media star, I'm a mechanic that just makes it up as he goes along. So uh, the camera angles are always terrible and um, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's get these cracked up anyway. This is left handed fret, so it's backwards to what you're used to and then whip this out. We're going to count the turns so I know it's this is threaded in plenty enough so when I give it some big licks it's not going to pull the threads so left hand in thread we're going to go half turn one turn one half two two and a half three three and a half four four and a half four and a half turns that was in so in theory if I wound this joint back in here four and a half turns where the nut is we're in plenty enough threads aren't we and we want enough above the nut also for adjustment I'm hoping this top of this is left handed thread. It's not, is it? Standard thread. Standard thread, isn't it, bruv? Be right back. Threaded the bottom joint, which is right hand thread, into the top of the quick shifter. Now I'm going to make this rod which is the left handed thread now at the bottom, so it should adjust even though that's a right hand thread. That's, that's a standard thread, so I can tap a thread in this bar, spin that on there, and then use the lock nut. There's not gonna be a lot of meat there, but I think it'll be plenty enough for what I need. Um, if I'm not happy with it, I can always order the genuine, the corner. It's not a problem. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna measure from there to there and see at what, at what point I need to cut this and tap it which is 280 mil. So I need to figure that out now. Put a mark on the rod where I need to cut it, which uh, makes sense because if I bottom my mark up to where my nut is, it's about the top of the quick shifter. Now I want some room for adjustment. So I'm gonna cut this off here and um, hopefully be able to tap a six mil thread in there to spin onto that. So the rod's cut, I've drilled to the depth I need for, it's not that one, it's the one on, the uh, quick shifter which in here. No, anyway, there it is. I've drilled to that depth. Well, a little bit more because it's a tapered tap. Um, I'm just going to tap a six mil thread in there. Um, going really steady, using a bit of maintenance spray. Shout out Transparts. They sent me a pack care package of these out. Uh, he's a good lad he is. If you need any parts, give him a shout. Uh, so I'm going to send this tap down here very steadily and cut a thread to about this point. And then hopefully we've got enough adjustment to perfect the distance and then we're about ready to bang it on and plug her in
perfect. First bang on. Why I pull this oil off now? Because I'm going to be slipping all over. And in theory, this should thread into here, left-handed thread. But I've left plenty of adjustment so I can get that overall 280 mil. And then this quick shifter should thread on there, like so. So we'll, um, if this was like a brake linkage, there's no way I'd do this. Because there's only probably two mil of material either side of that thread. So if you're using brakes and you wanted to give it some big licks, it might pull the threads through. But I've, I've tapped this deeper than it originally was. So there's plenty of thread to bite on. And with it being a gear linkage, it shouldn't, unless I get a bit hasty. Worst case scenario, the linkage snaps um, and I find a false neutral and die. No, worst case, if the gear linkage snaps and uh, yeah, I still get home, can't I just use my hand and pull it first. But I don't think it will. I think that'll be plenty strong enough for me. I know there'll be haters, but it's how we do it, brother. So I'm going to measure from there to there, set me 280. Um, then I can lock my adjustment nuts and plug her in and see if she'll program because that's probably the next thing I've done it. That's that measured up and set so I can bolt that back on now and then whip this plate off, pull this boot out and plug her in. Um, and I think you have to do away with this plate to get the wire into fit, but we'll figure that out. I'm going to try not to, I'm going to try to tuck my wire in that way, but we'll see. So get this bolted on, that plate off. In fact, I'll unbolt that plate first and plug her in first and then bolt her on. So that's that off, and behind here, there should be a white plug with a blank on it. Two pin plug. That one. Pull that blank out. Squeeze that tab. Be much easier with two hands, I'm telling you. I'm gonna whip that out with two hands, and then that should plug directly into it. Well, I saved the click for you guys, there you go. That's that plugged in, and then I'm going to see if I can get away with putting this cover back on, but that's going to bolt there. I've opted to run my wire through that hole so I can keep all of that plate. I don't really want it. And because I know it's meant to be there, I want it to be there, so I'm going to bolt this up now. That's them bolted back up. All them lock nuts are tight, and I put a little bit of blue Loctite on them bolts, um, just because I just don't want them rattling loose. Now, to calibrate, I'm told this is what you've got to do. Hold the quick shift, the gear selector in the up position whilst you flick the ignition on and wait 12 seconds. And apparently there should be a QS symbol come up at the bottom left. Like that there. So that means quick shift is activated now. I don't know if it's working. We'll, we'll run it up on the paddock stand and see if it works. Put it back in neutral. Striker up. We've got the QS symbol now, so it means it should work. Are you gonna say I'm divvy for doing this? But I'm divvy, so get over it. Stand. I'll be going that way, that's what'll happen. Um, that seems to be working, it's cutting the ignition uh, when I'm changing up gears. Obviously, it's not an auto blip or down quick shifter. But yeah, sorry, fit quick shifter. I was in two minds of us cut the cat out of this exhaust, but then it's no going back, is it? So I'm just going to buy a decap pipe. Um, I would take it for a rip, but then fair with a rider like. So hopefully, you learned something. If you didn't, you didn't. If you did, you did. Sweet as. I'll be uploading a bit more frequently anyway. But uh, for me, from me, and from the new whip, um, bid farewell. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. That's what you have to do on YouTube to grow, don't you? So let's get it. Let's get after it this year. No bet. <laughs>